Hey there and welcome to my channel. This is Foggy Fiction and I am Haley. I'm a writer living with mental illness and today I want to talk about my writing goals that have deadlines attached to them. I recently did a video where I covered my top five writing goals in general and I mentioned at the end how difficult it was for me to come up with writing goals that were realistic and didn't have deadlines attached to them. I also said that I would later do videos covering those so today I'm doing the one with deadlines. Just stressing myself out for fun. Number one, I want to be ready to quarry by the end of first quarter of 2021. I originally wanted to start querying by the end of this year, but the way that 2020 is going, I feel like I would be setting myself up for failure. And I don't know that I'll actually start querying when I'm ready to query, because I know that there are certain times of the year that it's better to query in general, especially for certain genres. But I just want by the end of the first quarter next year, but I just want by the end of first quarter next year, to have a manuscript that I feel is in a condition that I'm comfortable querying, even if I'm not ready to query it. Number two, I want to have two more completed first drafts by the end of 2021. I really wanted to say three more, but I have to give myself a goal that is attainable. And with the state of the world combined with my anxiety right now, I don't even know that two is possible. <laughs> I'm gonna try though. I think I think I can do two, especially since I'll be doing nano this year, so that'll already be one which means I just have to write one more next year, which means I might be able to do three. Come on, Haley, keep your, keep your deadline goals in the realistic order. Number three, I want to have at least one book published within the next three years. Honestly, I'd prefer it sooner than that, but I want to be traditionally published. And I know that querying takes time, publishing takes time, everything leading up to getting published even once you've got your agent takes time, and I'm still revising. I'm not even ready to query yet. So even though I'm putting deadlines on these goals, I still want to make sure that they're attainable. Number four, within the next five years, I want to have written a complete series. I don't have any attachments to the length of the series, and it doesn't necessarily have to be published during this time frame. I just know that having them written is something I want to do, and I preferably like to do it within the next five years. I know a lot of authors start out with books that have series potential, and some of the projects I'm working on fall under that. So one foot in the door already. And number five, which absolutely depends on number one, I want to be agented by the time I turn 30. Now this assumes that I stick with my plan to be traditionally published. I know a lot of authors start out with that plan and later decide to self-publish, so I'm not going to definitively say that I'm not going to be one of those authors, because I don't know. But assuming that I do stick with this plan, I turn 30 in November of 2021. So, if I'm able to accomplish my number one goal on this list and be ready to quarry by the end of first quarter next year, that gives me six months to find an agent in order to accomplish this goal. Fingers crossed. So there it is, my top five writing goals that have deadlines attached to them. Let me know what your timeline looks like, and if you enjoyed this video, leave a like so I know how to keep at it. Subscribe if you're interested in watching my very clumsy journey as a writer living with mental illness, and enjoy the happy moments.